We say it every year, but I think that that Cleveland trip showed us like what it looks like when we come together and we have to prioritize getting together annually, I think, after COVID yeah. and all that. Like that needs to be our next kind of like in our 50s. That would be the thing that I want. Hey everybody, welcome back to A Sweet Journey. It's Sonia, also known as Sweets. And you get the opportunity to meet my best friends uh, from day one. I mean, early on, they know all the secrets. At the top left is Denise, we call her Pumpkin. The top right is my cousin Felicia, we call her Flea. Bottom left is my cousin Chantel, we call her Shani. Bottom right is my friend Sanja, we call her Sonia. Ah, uh, these are my heartbeats. I love them. Enjoy. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, with all that being said, I've said I always say it's my mother. Who, yeah. Um, they said she was bumping along the way when she had my sister, and by the time she had me, which was at an older age, she had started to even out a little bit. Yeah. And um, I always thought she was just so, you know, <laughs> ooh, I'm like, oh my god, you know, <laughs> how moms yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But as you age, your your thinkers start coming on, and then now I'm doing it with my godson, my yeah. nephew, yeah. and the yeah, younger now you're the one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know. That's so important too. Like, like who's net? Like, whose lives are we gonna impact? Like, who's gonna be sitting on a video conference right. in years saying this person actually helped change my life? You know, yeah. that's so cool. My pastor's on that list, too. Yeah. Little long, but yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Take a whole village. A whole right. village. Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh? I would definitely be my mom. Uh-huh. <laughs> I would say, though, too, I did have some teachers, um, elementary, dear heart. I mentioned her earlier. Uh -huh. she always, there was something that she always saw in me. I don't know if it was, she would always say my writing ability or whatever it may have been. And kind of pushed me to go a little further in those things. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah, Miss Gearhart. We always had teachers at Garfield because Garfield was like 99.9% .9 black. Mm -hmm. right? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> it really was about like self identity. They wanted to make sure we knew who we were. So, we had yeah. like, um, yeah. black history programs. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But my mom, my mom, I watched my mom like go through different phases and levels of her life. Um, my mom didn't start working until. I think I was in like the fifth or the sixth grade. Mm -hmm. so my mom was always very active at the school. Yeah. I thought at one point that my mom was like on the payroll. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she always here? She's so always our stepping stone was the tutor. Yeah. She was um, over like the parent advisory group. She yeah. was always at the school. And that yeah. used to drive me crazy. I appreciate it now, but yeah. 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 Um, but my father was the type that, you know, he didn't want my mom to work. You yeah. know, he was very old school. You yeah. know, he was to come home and be the housewife. And he wanted us to be like, to grow up to be housewives in a sense. Right. But, you know, but later on, he realized that he wanted more. Um, yeah. And so I just watched her, like, she kind of put herself out there. She was like, nope, I'm going back to work. My kids are all in school now. Yeah. I'm going to work. You know, I'm going to create my own, you know, identity for myself. Yeah. And she did that. My mom went from like working at the Urban League, um, to uh, becoming like a branch manager at Flint Neighborhood Improvement, yeah. and then working her way up to being a city administrator. Yeah. And without a college degree. Yeah. Right. Degree, she did all of that. And today, and now she, you know, recently she was um, elected as the um, commissioner over the, um, we had our charter revision. And so she led yeah. that, mm -hmm. that endeavor. And so, she was like, I watched her do that all on her own. You know, she just put herself out there. My mom said when she was a young girl, she was just like so shy, yeah. just painfully shy. Yeah. And so she said she had to make herself like put herself out there to get over that her shyness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So watching her kind of recreate herself and and be the person that she wanted to be was so inspiring for me. Yeah. And there were times in my life, like, you know, she was very protective of us. Mm. You know, we were a little, Ooh. I would say, all sheltered, of us. sheltered at all home. All of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, she 
allowed me, even though she was protective, there were some things where she allowed me to make my mistake yeah. because she knew I needed to make those mistakes so I would grow yeah. up. Yeah. 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 So, um, so That's yeah. good. You know what I always loved about her punching? Like me and Sonya, we could talk uh, Cindy and Mama into, you know, 100%. Or whatever. But Miss Sharp, bro. She say no. She mean no. And you be like, you just give up. Oh, but I love that though. Don't let me go. Y'all go ahead. Yeah, I love that though, cause that's the kind of like we got into some crazy stuff, <laughs> which we won't talk about on this call. But I'm saying the fact that like she had that tight kind of boundary, like that, that was necessary. And she'd be reading her newspaper, she meant it. No, and all sweet, no. Mm, like this. She's never her newspaper, no. <laughs> I have to say this too. Like, I, and I, I wanted to just finish with this. Like, yeah. they're always trying to, you said it takes a village. Mm -hmm. And for Miss Montgomery, for Miss Cindy. Yeah. Even Shani for your mama, because I remember when y'all used to always come down from Saginaw to visit. Like, those are people who always yeah. looked out for our best interests. You yep. know what I mean? And always wanted to make sure that we did well with our mother. Uh, you know, at least your mom was my godmother. Yeah. I remember asking her, would you be my godmother? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> uh -huh. She, uh, I you just know. appreciate that it truly takes a village. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, that's what we had back in that back It's in the day. true. It's just the same. Yeah. Um, yep. Well, you appreciate it now because, like, she never worried about me being at any of uh, y'all house. Right. Right. Same here. You know, and yeah. now... You know, you can't trust the kids to go nowhere. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Tanya. So I would say, um, I think of my godmother, Miss mm -hmm. uh, Lewis. She actually passed away a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. But uh, she was the one that named me. She was a teacher. Uh -huh. and when she also had a dog that came to find so. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Term of endearment. That's right. Right. <laughs> so um. when I was younger, it was um, Miss Lewis was my godmother, and Miss um, Akola, which was Michelle's godmother. Yeah. But when we were younger, they were always asked, "So what do you want to be when you're when you're an adult?" Right. Mm -hmm. I remember hearing that all the time. Yeah. You know? mm. And. Um, <laughs> One of the things I thought was like, am I asking that of, you know, did that sort of set an expectation mm -hmm. I need to live up to? Yeah. I, mean, I don't know, but yeah. um, they were definitely two uh, strong women. One was a nurse, one was a teacher. And I was growing up, it was, you know. And, but you know what, Sonya, it shows because when we was playing, you was taking college classes. Look. Tell me about we was like, F school is over, and you all like doing internships. Look. And whatever they did, they did a good job. But I'm just saying. Over. Look, Felicia, we, just we were 16. <laughs> me and, we were 16, and me and Sonya was working at McDonald's on Fire Road, right? Yeah. And so I was like, whatever, I ain't got to work for you. Right. <laughs> I ain't got to work. <laughs> ain't nobody got time for all that time. And Sandra was like, they were like getting ready to put her in like the management. <laughs> I always use you, Sonya, yeah. as an example. When, when Denial you know, was in high school, mm -hmm. I told them, you know, I said, me, you know, we, we messed our time up and yeah. Sonya was on. Yeah. So no, that's did, the truth. She did that and, and and told us to kiss the crack of her butt and we go. <laughs> Seriously. Years later. Right. <laughs> it's the truth. That happened. Those are facts. <laughs> I was there. It happened. Uh, uh. As far as me, I just feel like, you know, I get something from everybody that I meet. So at different stages in my life, I get different heroes. Yeah. You know, of course, Mama. Yeah. But, um, of course, her. Yeah. But it's 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 worse because it's she even more now mm -hmm. that, that I don't have. Yep. But um, now it's you guys. Mm. Um. Mm. A lot of people always say that they you know they're around ratchet women and all that, but not me. Right. Right. Uh, um, you guys are my hero mm. right now. 
To me, I think like the ability to hold this kind of friendship for this long, you know, because yes. even family doesn't do this. Like, right. you know, so I don't take for granted that Felicia and Shane are my family. Like, I don't take that for granted because I don't talk to a lot of family members, you know, know there's a whole bunch of people I don't talk to. But to be able to get on a phone or get on a call and it's like no time has passed, like we can get right back in and start talking about our life and what we're doing. Like, it is such a gift, golly, because like we're all, you know, busy doing our life, but to be able to take a minute and stop and like check on each other and talk about and laugh, because that's my favorite thing, because <laughs> we are always going to laugh and we're always going to say something that can't be recorded. I appreciate that too, <laughs> you know, but, but I, I, I love that Felicia, because that's true. It's like, you know, I just always know no matter how bad it gets or good it is or no matter what, like this is my center. Like this is it. Like I can always come back to this spot. And I, I just, I love that. Yeah, I appreciate good. you for bringing that up. I have never like, no, I've never had a bond like this with any other. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody else. Like I had with yep. you all. Like that will never, ever happen. I won't, I can't even allow it to happen. Right. It's so sacred. It's so intimate. Yeah. Right. I'm jealous of the people coming over science for a birthday. I don't like that. <laughs> That's it's fun. always good to see your faces. You too. Love. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, that was an incredible conversation. You got to see a very, very small piece of it. And what I may do is actually upload other pieces of the conversation because we talked about spiritual things. We talked about professional things. We set commitments and accountability partnerships and all kinds of things in that conversation. That's just a small portion. So Maybe I'll upload a couple of the other videos uh, this week. We'll see. But uh, if you like the video, please provide a thumbs up to me and my friends. And uh, I hope you will subscribe if you haven't already. And then you can also choose the bell, which notifies you when I upload videos. So thank you for stopping by and we will see you next time. Bye.